hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time you're very welcome i appreciate you guys thank you for your great support thank you for supporting me today in my kitchen i'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious nigerian stew this stew has a different name some people call it ayamashe, some call it designer stew, some call it afodo stew. It has a lot of names. But anyways, guy, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. If you have not still subscribed, show me love by clicking on the red button. The subscription is absolutely free, guys. And when you subscribe, remember to press on the notification bell to get notification each time I upload a new video. Yes, these are the ingredients I'm going to use. So let's go into the making of this too. The first thing you have in mind when to make ayamashe is to bleach your oil. So I'm just going to pour this red oil here on the pot, cover it and allow it to bleach. I just covered it in a low heat and allow it to bleach. This stage of this too, I'm always, should I say afraid? It's a bit dangerous. You have to be careful at this stage of the stew, this first stage of bleaching the oil. As you can see guys, my oil is almost bleached. I will cover it again and allow it to bleach to my satisfaction. Now that the oil is well bleached, it's time to start making our stew. What I did was to off the gas entirely so that the oil will cool down before I start making this stew. Like I told you guys, you have to be careful if you're using red oil, if you're bleaching your red oil, be very, very attentive. The first thing into the pot was onions. You have to cover the pot to allow your onion fry. When the onion is well fried, you add your iru, locust beans. I used to call this local magi. The addition of iru to your ayamashi make a huge difference. It give it a kind of delicious taste. Then you cover the pot and allow the iru and onion to fry together. At this stage, you add your blended green pepper. These are mixed green pepper. You blend all of them together and add it to your pot. Then you mix it and cover it to cook. After about 15 minutes, you add your crayfish and at this stage you can also add your meat stock to the pot For the seasoning of this too, I'm using aromat, black pepper, dry herbs, powdered nutmeg, and some seasoning cubes.
you can add more water to it then cover it to cook look at that it's looking very delicious already this is the time you have to add every other ingredient you're using i'm using some dry fish which was first in the pot assorted meat one more this too is very good with assorted meat but you can use any meat of your choice Stir your pot very well and cover it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. At this point, you already have a boiled egg. You add it to the stew for a final touch. It's already done. You can even off your gas at this stage, but you just cover it to simmer for some second. Look at that. Tell me this is not beautiful. It's not just beautiful, it is delicious. This is the end result of my stew. Very delicious. You can pair it with white rice. It's good with white rice. Very delicious with white rice. If you like what you see, give my video a thumbs up. Remember to share it with your loved ones. And don't forget to show me love by hitting on the red button. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.